too well to do what? Okay, we're back. Oh, because you didn't clap. Yeah, because I didn't clap you. <laughs> Welcome back to um, She'll Be Right, Navigating the Everyday Head Noise. I'm Petty or... Olivia, what's doing? I mean, apologies. You know, we took a, a week off. It felt like it's felt like a while, but... It felt like a year. We had a little bit of technical difficulties with my um, computer. What did you yeah. say? What did I do? You, it reached the limit of porn. Yeah, oh yeah, I... Um, you re- absolutely rinsed the laptop and it yeah, was just... just it went to Couldn't new heights. It. it just shut down completely. Yeah, you yeah. can only wipe down a laptop screen so many times until it no <laughs> until it breaks. No, 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 no. We're not gonna we're not gonna <laughs> go down that line of thinking. Poor little um, no, but it was a busy book. week. It was a busy week leading into Christmas as well. So yeah, and I thought, lost my voice. Yep, yeah, because. I think I know why. Because I gave the greatest speech of all time at your birthday party. You gave a speech that was maybe uh, very prolonged, but very loved and very appreciated. At the yeah. Very much at the I same time. I actually thought I kept it pretty short and sharp, like I do with my stories on the pod. <laughs> Write it in. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there were a couple of these ones. Yeah, I know. Like, right. I don't listen to those, yeah. though. But, I mean, that's that's what's kind of happened in the meantime. Of course, we've had Christmas, but I, um, I hit the 30 Club. You did? I've done it. Dirty 30. Dirty 30. Flirty. And feeling, yeah, a little bit flirty. Mm. I think as it rolls into the silly season, you definitely do feel a little it's bit. It's a great time to turn 30, really. Is it? Well, it's no, summer. It, it's, it is, but it isn't because it's just like back to back to back to back. Like things are yeah. on. It can be a little bit exhausted. Yeah. Exhausting. Exhausting. No, I agree. I'm like similar as well. Like I was like a little bit sad like a child yesterday because – like, my birthday's in November and then Christmas is December and now I'm like, oh, I've got to wait a whole another year for more presents. Oh, okay. So, you're... Like, I've, so you're, well, I've it's done a all block. my presents. You've have, you have a block of joy. Yeah. And now you have kind of, you know, yeah, access to that I'm block like, for I'm another having, 11 like, months. I'm Christmas come down. <laughs> Mainly based on presents because I'm literally a little 10-year-old. Well, what did you get for Chrissy? Well, I, this is what I think. Like, so, a lot of my friends don't do gifts with their families anymore and I'm like... Mm. And my family, we you got gifts though, right? Yeah, we, we did. But on one side, we do the Secret Santa. On the other side, it's like quite small, intimate. So it's it's pretty easy to yeah. you well, know, like sort got, it all out. I got um, some cool Crocs. I'm not wearing them today, but I will be wearing them. I'm pretty excited about them. I like disco ones. They're like iridescent. And I got um, – oh, I got a kettle and a fucking um, – Toaster, which I was so excited about. I think that knows when you fucking old. I think that's a sign that we're growing up where you do get excited about the household utilities. Yeah, but they are hot pink smeg ones, so like and how know, does, they're uh, also ridiculously immature. Yeah, how does your um housemate feel about that? Oh, she loves them. They're gorgeous. They're honestly so cute you could cry. I don't know how I'd feel about that. If you had to bring that home, I'd be like if why? if I was if they're we were nice. dating if we we're dating, you know, and like, oh mum got us a Kettle and a fucking toaster set. What, you wouldn't like them? No. Did I show you a picture? No, I don't need to have They're a gorgeous. picture. They're gorgeous. I'm just saying. Look, designer, darling. See my aesthetic? How yeah. would you feel like, you know, a pink toaster? How do you think that would go down? I, you look, I don't, if we were living together, you wouldn't have a choice. Well, I would. <laughs> I'd say. Would. I think I think this is time. We've, we've gone out. I'd break up. Stuff. Yeah, I'd break up with you for the toaster. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay. I well, know, I at actually, least we know how much I, we care about it. And enough. I feel no, like, remorse or, like, or regret. Me either. No, There's I'd be no like, way I'd be like, not, nah, that will do no me. There's no way I'm not having them out on display. <laughs> no, I'd be like, fuck no. That's the whole point of Smeg. They're not really the best. Well, actually, they are pretty good quality. but Pretty good quality. But you're not buying them because you want the best piece of toast. You're buying them because they look gorgeous on your counter but may i counter that how good can a piece of toast be toasted that's a whole nother conversation you know there's so many different levels to toast yes it also depends on the person and what they like no no, i'm saying there's lightly the medium one and then there's burnt like you can't speaking of you know how it's like one two three four Mm -hmm. what do you think that means on the the knob of the toaster 25%, 50%, 75%. 25%, 50%, 75%. Like 100%. toasted? Yeah. Really? I mean, top of my head, I'm just kind of going by maths. I thought it was a timer. Yeah, it is a timer. Like I'm one di- minute, two minute, three minute, four minute. To be honest, I don't have own a Surely no, because four minutes is <laughs> way too long. I feel like we're going What does it mean? I don't know. 
I actually don't know. I always emergency pop it because I don't know what to commit to yeah, on, yeah. on the dial. You gotta go, I don't you gotta go, it it, that's a vibe thing with toast. You gotta just go, you gotta pop it yeah, off. Like it, when you, you do run off pure vibe, and yeah. I always fuck it. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Anyway, I get distracted. I think, yeah, well, as, as, you know, this conversation we just <laughs> had about toast. Mad tangent, but... Uh, we're, yeah, we're so this is just, this is, no, my speech wasn't like this at all. It was captivating. I'd never said Everyone that. I never said that. I never said that. I just <laughs> said we went off a tangent about toast. Yeah, but we'll take it back to your birthday. Back to the We'll birth- make it about you again. It's not about me. It's about, you know, I'm just prepping you for turning 30. I'm just giving you a little bit Bro, of... I've got a whole year. It's going to sneak up on you. No, I'm ready for it's it. It's going to sneak... Ducking and weaving that. Ducking and weaving what? Responsibility <laughs> or... Yeah. The inevitability that of you are turning 30. going to in the next decade well, of I your life. I actually don't think you're 30 because I think we lost a year in lockdown, so you're really only 29. That's an interesting way to look at it. But mm. uh, to my uh, birth certificate, no, that's not the case. Well, where's your birth certificate? Not on me. See? No one knows where their fucking birth certificate is. <laughs> no, but it... it um, but no, I know what you mean. I thought I'd be a lot cooler about it. Mm. When like it actually like when the clocks struck twelve, mm. but a lot of shit did come up. It was yeah, a, it was a bit like you weren't okay. We got no, it was just a we got like yeah, you were a bit wiggy on the day of. But it wasn't turning thirty. I think it was just more the I get like a birthday anxiety. I think yeah, like it. It's the amount of love that you receive on your birthday can be overwhelming. <laughs> It's like, what did I do to... Like, you feel like you tricked someone. You're like, what did I do to... Do, like... Yeah. Have I given this false impression that, like, I'm a good person? Or? Oh, you're a good person. What do you mean? No, no. But it's it's something, like, it's hard to... A little bit hard to wrestle with. For me. It's also just a lot of communication. I think that's the most overwhelming part. Like, mm. your phone... And, like, this is such a first world problem. Like, oh, I've got too many people that love me and want to reach out to me on my birthday. It's yeah, giving me it's anxiety. It's gross... Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> I'm just such a celebrity on my birthday. Mm. Like, I'm like, love it. I'm like, I welcome it, you know, the attention. Do you know? Yeah. Mm. But for people that, you know, don't normally like receiving a lot of attention, I think it can wig them out a bit to like, you know, their phone's constantly ringing and all that it's stuff. Because it's funny, I, I f- do find a little, like how I kind of get around it is um, I like to bring people together and just have a good time, have a drink, base it around that, but try not to make it about me. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, I know. But you you try to duck and weave it being about you and then you get angry when everyone is making it about you because it's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. No, I freaked out, actually. Like, I know. I was on the phone to you when you freaked out. Freaked out. And I was like, didn't even let you talk. I, I did a whole rendition yeah. of Marilyn Monroe's Happy Birthday through the phone. And then you were like, I'm not a... And I'm like, how's your day going? And you're like, not good. Not Freaking good. the fuck out. And Freaking I was like, oh, out. cool. Thanks for letting me finish my my yeah. my yeah performance. Well, I was just like, mm-hmm. let's, just let, <laughs> let's just make this about Liv. Let her <laughs> sing a little song while I am Happy s- birthday. sitting in this chair cringing. Just going, <laughs> deep breaths, deep breaths. Deep breath, deep breath. No, and um, I, th- I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. Yeah. I don't know where the basis of this is. I think it's probably something from childhood. I was just about to say we'll blame childhood. No, no it's not blaming childhood. It's just no. Yeah, I can't. I haven't pointed the finger on it, but like even at the shop, got a cake, and I just like, I, I was like, I was, I didn't want to go upstairs and like cut the cake. I was like, yeah, just. Maybe you were also just freaking out about being 30. I feel actually right, okay right now. Oh, okay. I don't think it was the 30 thing. No, it's, the, it's definitely the attention thing. It's the attention thing. Yeah. But like... Saying to someone who's started a podcast and... Yeah, I know. You definitely... You like attention, but you don't like like it in a structured setting. You know what I mean? Like mm. you want to be the guy that's like, oh yeah, I'm easy for you. Like, you know... Fold into the back, but, you know, people are drawn to me because I'm dynamic and I just give off an energy that draws people to me. It's not, like, force. Whereas, like, you feel maybe that a birthday is force because everyone's like, oh, we've got to give you this day. Whereas I don't think that at all. I'm like, it's my day. My birthday literally went for two months. 
Like I had a friend take me out to a birthday dinner two weeks ago. And I was like, even for me, this is a lot. That Yeah. I know. It was great though. I'm surprised you've been had it on Halloween as well because it's kind of stealing your little bit of light. It went from October. I know. Like I, it went from my birthday is in November, but I had a Halloween party in October and then a, a dinner all the way to mid December. That's not, that's some of my best work in extending my birthday. I mean, and the thirtieth is coming up. You know. I know. Imagine so, it. What are we gonna do, Vegas? Oops, 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 oops. I'd have a bun for that, but um, it's all right. I, got, I, got I mean, covered. I mean, put it out there. Put it out into the world, maybe. Why not? What else what, are we doing? What would be your ideal thirtieth? Look, my biggest thing that I what I don't like about birthdays is mm-hmm. when I throw a party, right? And when like, and this is like one thing. This is where I get anxiety. Is when I throw a party and I've planned the party. I've told everyone about it. Everything's organized, and everyone just doesn't give a fuck about like the time the party starts. They don't actually read the invite, so they all individually message you and ask you fucking questions. And, like, then they're like, oh, can I bring this person on the day? And, like, all of this shit is fine, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, just read the fucking invite. Like, I don't need to personally talk to every single – like, that's what stresses me out gives me anxiety when it's my birthday. Like, if I'm throwing a party and everyone's Mm -hmm. messaging me being like, oh, what's the address, what's this, what's this? And I'm like, motherfucker. Like – we, we, I said this to you all ages ago. Just look at the fucking thing. That's where I get the shits. And if people don't show up on time, you know that I get angry at that too. Yeah, I didn't show up on time. Yeah, I was fucking filthy with you. I hate when people just like, I think it's selfish. Like if you're meant to be at an event and you don't get there on time, like I reckon half an hour leeway is fine. Mm-hmm. Or if you text me and say, fuck, I'm stuck here or... I'll be late because I've got another event on. Like, that's fine. I remember that But if you're time. just just fucking around at home and just doing your own thing, that annoys me. That's my one thing. Can Even I, with other people, like if I'm going to an event, right? Devil's like advocate? Dinner. Devil's advocate? I, I know you will because you just do your own time and that really, it really annoys me. No. What time did your party start? My party started at... Like five or six? Yeah, five. Too early. No, but the reason I put it early is because I knew no one was going to get there until six. Because all my friends are fucking useless. And I have a beautiful balcony and I wanted to watch the sunset. So as if you wouldn't want to start. And it's I love drinking during the day. Too early. It's not too early. Too early. It's not. What were you doing? What was I doing? Mm. I got home from work. Mm. I wanted to wind down and relax. Yeah, see, but if you have something on, you can't. You've got to fucking go. Also, actually, I know why I was late. Yeah? Uh, his name is Kai. Yeah, that's right. He was also right. invited. And that's the story right. goes with Kai. There's something to do with he, Kai. He messaged on Facebook saying, hey, uh, I've lost my phone, um, but I will be catching a train down and bus and I'll meet you there. And we said, cool, no worries. And then uh, about 45 minutes later, it dawned on us. We go, hang on. We have no idea where he is because mm. he doesn't have a phone on him. We don't know then when why he's... why won't you just come to the party and just meet him there? He doesn't know where you live. He doesn't know where it is. See, well, he was on the invite. He wasn't. He wasn't? No. I thought he was. There you go. So then we're like waiting around, me and Raf going, okay, where the... Even if he was, he wouldn't have had his phone to look at it anyway. No, and <laughs> we ended up finding out he, he brought like a portable Wi-Fi thing and we could have messaged him on the laptop. Anyway, it was just a schmozzle. But no excuse for it. But yeah. I think I'm a little bit more chilled. Like, No, you definitely are. I should be more chilled. Like, but it's Actually, just, when did you I rock up? Angry. When did you rock up to mine? I, came, I was like within half an hour of yours starting. I 100% was because I know that. Mm-hmm. I know that I hate when people are late. Okay. It doesn't bother me. That's why. Yeah. I like, know. But, I, that, but that's the one thing. Well, like, I don't care about the birthday attention or anything, but I get anxiety about, like, because I don't just want one, one random fucking person there. 
And then, like, everyone needs to be on time. I just think it's rude. That's just my... Okay. But now we've uh, prefaced this, you know, now we have a year to, you know, smash that in to people. Yeah. That you want people to arrive on time. Yeah. For your next birthday. Yeah. There we go. Everyone, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get an invite to the party of the century, you better be on fucking time. Party of the cinch? Yep. That's a big claim. Dude, have you met me? I'm not even. T- I don't even say anything. Over promise, under deliver. I would say. What do you mean? <laughs> my party was sick. I had a fucking fog machine <laughs> in my backyard, and I had a remote control attached to my cowboy belt, and I could just let it go whenever I wanted. Did that happen between five and seven? Because I wasn't there for that. You weren't there for the fog machine. No. Yes, you were. Well, you fucking missed out. I did. It did run out of juice pretty quick. Where did you get it from? Bunnies. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's my fog machine. Can we bring it in Live here? Party one? started more, the best party person of all time. It's sick. Yeah, we'll we'll can do we, a yeah, we'll do, do, do a, a Yeah. <laughs> you can put like you could like um, essential oils in it, make it smell nice too. Oh, or you can put maybe some like um oh no, I won't say it. <laughs> I don't even know where you're going with it. <laughs> I can't. I'm I can't. so glad that no, you're laughing no, no. at your joke on the <laughs> podcast that you haven't said. No, no, I won't. I won't. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I think if you get birthday anxiety, just redirect your messages to me and I'll just start no, I, I'll start being it's, the it's um No, it's go. it's it's really something you just need to accept and cop on the chin. Yeah. Because what I learned from this year, it's actually selfish when you um, throw a tantrum on your birthday? Not, not throw a tantrum. Just kind of like block it off, because people are coming from a good place. It's not yeah. like, like it's not coming from a place of like um, I'm just. Oh, I guess like we'll just do this. Like people mm. genuinely excited, excited yeah. for you. Yeah, agreed. You know, so yeah, and you got there in the end. I did after, after the tanty thousand drinks. Yeah, but um, yeah, I. Another reason I don't get birth and anxiety is most of my friends are older than me. So, like... You're the baby. I'm young, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, like, the last one to turn 30. Mm. So that feels nice. Oons, 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 oons. So you can't ever... Re- and then I can't even whinge about it. Everyone's like, oh, you can't whinge about any old. We're already 33. Meh, meh, meh. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'm just a spring chicken. Spring chicken. Yeah. I think so we'll that's re- a life. Well, that would be a little bit of a life hack. Just hang out with people older than you and you never feel old. Oh, to regarding birthdays? Yeah, well, just in general, look at okay. our life hack section. Like, I've just leaned into it, but we'll do a proper one later. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Sorry, so just hocking up a loogie, loogie on it. Going to roll into <laughs> <hot> life hack. <laughs> laugh that out. No, I'm keeping that one oh, in okay. now. I'm keeping that one in. Uh, okay, life hack. So... It's my it's my turn for life hack. It is now. This is not. I mean, this is a very specific one, and I think uh, in the midst of the silly season, it's become very apparent to me. Mm. And it's something I would like to talk to the big dogs in the industry of why this can't be put into place. Of what industry? The hospitality industry. Oh, all right. I got yeah. some connects. Chloe's the head of Cat which is key events team at a quite a prominent... I'm glad you... you know, they literally call it the acronym. head of Ket, which we laugh at. Yes. Um, well, maybe we can talk to Chloe. We can have a sit-down meeting and mm. discuss this further. But at bars mm. or pubs, I believe there should be a cocktail line. 100%. Because you want to go up, you just want to get And we're vo- not talking people that are a little bit more dressed but <laughs> nicer than other people. <laughs> that was so dumb I couldn't even get it out <laughs> Damn it <laughs> Not saying that there's A casual cocktail no, no, Black tie line best, Literally the saying First in best dressed Yeah but a, a Best different. dressed for, Anyway Wait, No So up. a cocktail line Yeah I'm, if There's nothing worse When there's a busy pub or a bar You just want to sneak up And get your vodka soda Or a beer Or a beer yeah. Or a wine. scotch on the rocks. Or um, a wine. It's not fucking hard work. Just a little... Yeah. But then 
you're caught behind someone who hears, can I get three um, uh, Aperol spritz and two uh, espresso martinis? And you're like, yeah, it's holy f- shit, I'm going to be here for half an hour. Happened to us the other day. Happened to us the other day. And, and, we made, me, furious about and it. it made me think like, can't there be one dedicated person just doing cocktails? Yeah. Or even opposite way, like there's a express line. Yeah. You know? Watson's Bay kind of have it like that. They've got a pretty good operation. So they, yeah. so you order the cocktails. So you go to the bar to order the cocktails and then mm. they've got like little guys that's like a little tiki cocktail bar and you go over and I don't, I don't know why I'm calling it tiki because it's got a little like straw uh, thing. Yeah, anyway. righto. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but then like you go over there and you wait for your cocktails. That's pretty good. That's a pretty well oiled. That's Roppo. that's eyes up footy right there. Yeah, and it's just like it shits me to death, dude. Same. Because it's just a fucking beer. I just want to be. Yeah, I agree. And I also think time and a place for a cocktail. You know, like you have a cocktail whenever you want. Mm. But if there's, fu- it's fucking. If a pub is rammed, like Topico's the other night, yeah, it was rammed. It was there's no way I'm being that asshole to an inch that's of ordering life. like you know. Espresso martinis, seven espresso martinis, but I've got 30 people behind me. But it's kind of like um, when you're riding a bike on a road, I feel so, I feel like self, like self-conscious. I feel like I'm not enjoying this because I'm blocking up the traffic. Like, Yeah, dude, I would is, never do that. But And that's how I feel now. Because I hate cyclists so much, yeah. I just wouldn't. Not a fan. Sorry, guys. But that's how I feel about cocktails now. Can't If I just want to grab a cocktail now... I was like, I just, yeah. I feel self, no one I feel grubby. You're sweet. Nah, I'm saying like if it was the other day, Topico's, right? Oh yeah, that was a nice. And one. I just, I just feel like a Tommy's Marg. Yeah. I was like, no, nah. no, nah, I can't do it. Yeah. Like I'm being the bigger man here mm. and withholding. You take one for the Tommy, Mar- yeah. And the bartender appreciates it. Like you can almost see the little faces when it's like a packed bar and they're like, someone's like, can I get. An espresso martini, a pina colada, an amaretto sour. What else is an annoying cocktail to make? A margarita's a little bit work, like a fair bit of whack. Even like an espresso martini, I don't understand that. Because you can get them just like... Uh, oh, they're disgusting. I haven't tried the it. But I'm not drinking one I'll, I'll, I'll pay less just to fucking... Espresso martinis in themselves, like... I went through a real era, I reckon when I was like 22, of like this, mm. when the, everyone was kind of having them. But then, like, they're not like they're not great. They're not an all night drink. Nah. They kind of like the the vodka spells out the espresso, so you don't really get any uppers from it. And I, it kind of makes you want to do a poo because it's got still got the coffee <laughs> element in it. I'm a, a little bit of a quick drinker as well, so yeah. I will smash it quite quickly. And go, okay, that was twenty bucks and twenty minutes. Mm. So. I don't know. I just yeah. I went to a wedding once though, and they had like at the end of the night an espresso martini like hour, and so they just like were pumping out like no joke. I reckon I had five espresso martinis in an hour. I had a friend that was like, I think I've had ten. I'm like, dude, you aren't gonna sleep. That's really smart as well. Maybe yeah. there should be like a. It's like they just did it like at the end of the night. It was like kind of like a like on the dance floor. I think it was like ten o'clock. It was like an espresso martini hour, and then they just like. You went over to the bar and they just had them all like ready to go, kind of thing. Like they, I like that. Out. I like that yeah. a lot. Yeah, you can have like a mug. When we get married, we can do that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. We don't murder each other before then. Well, if you, if you actually, we can't get married because you will never that's accept what, no, my if interior If you toss, styling. yeah, sure. If you toss that fucking pink, I have to live in separate houses. Machinery, yeah. That that could save a lot of marriages, maybe just living separately. So you're saying we're well, same bedroom but different kitchens? Yeah. I'm thinking over, separate, totally separate houses and duplex. The top, over the top. A duplex would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're trying to compromise living with each other when we don't really want to live with each other. Yeah. We're just like, just let's make this work. Like, we don't really want Maybe that. Maybe we crack the code for, code for a happy marriage. No. Separate houses, but next to them, each other. A duplex. I don't know. It's still pretty close. Yeah, that's what it, but it's good because, like, you can sleep in the same bed if you want. And then you can also not, but you're not far away from each other. Yeah, I mean, uh, forget about the funding of this as well. And um, oh yeah, it's a partnership. And I'm going to be a billionaire, I know. Oh. It's written in the stars. Well, in that case, sure. Have your pink fucking... Yeah. We're definitely going to be billionaires. We've just come up with a way to... Um, 
revolutionised the cocktail game. Yeah, hospitality. Yeah, I um, just waiting for a good old Justo to give me the call up, and I'll implement it in all the Maryvales. Cocktail lines. Yeah. Cocktail lines. Maybe you'll make me head of cock. <laughs> so you got Chloe, the head of cat. You're the head yeah. of cock. What are you going to be? Head of puss. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, it does. What, you bring the chicks to the club? You're just a promoter. Personal unifying sister, um, system. <laughs> Segregator? <laughs> no, no, I got it. Personal uh, unifying sector. Personal unifying sector. What, yeah. is, what, is it, what does one I bring do? Bring them all together. I unify them. You could have been like... Puss. Um, promoter of under sexually. <laughs> Fuck, puss is a hard acronym to come up yeah. with shit. We've realised. Okay. There we go. So head of puss, head of cock and head of crack. Um, <laughs> crack. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, head of cat. Poor Claudio. Um, we haven't said where she But the cocktail it. counter. It's going to be a thing. The cocktail counter. Yeah. Yeah, it has to. And yeah, it, it has to. It's for us so to... That's our life hack. That's our life hack. Giddy up. Yeah, giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Hoteliers and restaurateurs, give us a call Come up. We take 10, ten commit fits, commit 10 fits. That's not a thing. We'll stop that now. <laughs> Okay, now we're on to shower thoughts. Shower thoughts. Yeah. yeah. That was Mariah. We asked her to come in just especially for She Christmas. was busy. Well, she's busy that Christmas period, Mariah. That's where she thrives. She's locked in. Mm. We thought maybe we can get her for like a cheeky appearance after Chrissy, but she goes, guys, knackered. I've been singing All I Want for Christmas is You probably 10,000 times. I have a theory that she's so, like, rich that she's cloned herself and she doesn't – because, like, it would just be such a punish to have to sing All I Want for Christmas is all the time. So I reckon she's cloned herself and she just sends the Mariahs, the the Mariah Army, out to just do those songs in, like, wherever these billionaires' houses are that are paying for her to do it. Well, yeah, that all saying, James she's Packer. probably... That's probably how she met James Packer. <gasps> Imagine if James Packer didn't actually date the original Mariah, but, like, one of her clones. But... <laughs> That's wild. That definitely happened. There was no way she was coming to Australia. No way. Oh, yeah. No, but, you know, he is a billionaire. Yeah, I know, but still... But, she uh, definitely sent a clone. No, I think you will sing that song to death when your whole um, income is coming purely... Like, 85% of her income is coming from that song. That's, you, did, you just made that up. I can, I can look it up. I know it's a lot, but it's definitely not 80 What about she's got so many other good songs. What about... Ooh, I'm feeling emotions deeper than yeah. I've ever thought. That's... Oh, 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 oh. That's the other, that. that's the other, that's, that's 10% and the rest is coming from uh, Nick Cannon. Um, and the other, she's got so many, I'm not going to do a Mariah rendition. But again, we've gone on top, off topic. So yeah, sorry. Shower thoughts. Let's hop back in the shower. Hop back in the shower. Lather up. Mm-hmm. Um, so my shower thought is like, I was just thinking like, we just accept things the way they are without fully understanding them. Like the other day I was at work and someone gave me a master key. And it opens everything. And I just, like, how can one fucking key open all these different locks? Like, all these different doors? I just find it so bizarre. Like, a landlord, right, that's got, like, 200 apartments. Everyone's gone in and own, changed their locks, right? So, like, no, sorry, Strata mm. would have a master key, right? And then every single owner of each apartment has got a separate lock, Right? And their key won't open their apart- their neighbor's apartment, mm. but the strata person just has this master magical master key that just opens everything up. The master key is a um, it's a curious case of Benjamin Button, isn't it? It is. And then, like, if locksmiths make these master keys, like, why don't they just rob places? They well, all have keys to fucking everything. I think they would underpin their whole business if, if they were robbing people. How would, would anyone know? We still need them to make keys. So you're saying it's like a, a lose-lose situation because... 
Not for a locksmith. Well, I'm saying they will rob us, but also we'll say, oh, but you need us. A hundred percent. To. So say, like, uh, how do you get it? I lock myself out a fair bit, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Okay. First day I moved into my new house, I locked myself out. I have a And I had yeah. to get a locksmith. Mm-hmm. And it was like in the middle of like, I don't know, it was like a Sunday or something too, so it cost me a fucking fortune for this locksmith. Them Sunday and it was like, And it was like one minute of his time. Like he literally came in and just like, and like was gone, right? Brought his puppy with him, which was very cute. Anyway, but then I was just like, and then he charged me like 300 something bucks for a new key, right? But I'm like, why doesn't this guy just rob people? Like it's so easy for him to get in and out of a house. Well, maybe he's got, like, a moral compass or something. There's obviously, like, or... a code, yeah. There's, like, the carny code of locksmiths. Yeah. Like, but also, I just don't understand how a master key works, to go back to that. Um, the mechanisms of a key, I'm guessing, is, like, there will be one point where it triggers something that can unlock all the locks. I don't, yeah. Yeah. What? I'm just... Uh, you don't understand it, right? No, no, I don't pretend to I understand. But going back to your yarn about losing a key, mm. I did that once um, well, when we were in Europe and we just, like, got to our Airbnb, met the lady there. We just got, like, we'd been travelling, like, the whole day, exhausted. And we're just like, mm. oh, let's get a quick feed and just you know, have, a, have an early one. Mm. Anyway. Pussies. It's just like a knee-jerk reaction sometimes. 20, nearly 2023. 20, we don't refer to men like... Yeah. yeah, sorry. It's not cool. What would you rather me say? Little bitch. I don't even know if I can say that either. No, anything you can say. You can't say anything You anymore. call me a cactus and I'll still fucking say, what, because I'm a prick? Yeah. There's a joke there. I think I just that's a up. joke that... Yeah. Speaking of, it's so, a really good joke, but let's... Yeah, what, like, it's like, what do you call, call a, a rude cactus? A prick. Yeah. Yeah, nice. What do you... Why <laughs> anyway. did the orange take... Why well, no, this is the one that my nephew told me just real quick. My nephew told me on Christmas. Why did the orange take a prune to the Christmas party as his day? Oh, I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> a seven-year-old I knew told, it. Delivered, this, <laughs> delivered this joke perfectly to me and I just <laughs> fucked it. I'm going to say it anyway. Why did... I pretend like I didn't hear it. Why did the orange take a prune to the Christmas party? Why? Because his date wasn't available. <laughs> I can't believe I fucked that up. Sorry, babe. Sorry to my nephew. He's going to be cringing. Yeah, he'll be Although cr- I really hope he doesn't listen to this. Let's hope not. No, not safe. Uh, not safe, not safe. Uh, okay, but we're walking down this beautiful little street in Monopoly, you know, like mm. looking at the sights, cobblestone. In Monopoly? Yeah. Did you see... Um, <laughs> I can't think of... Flinders Way. Did you see Flinders Way? Yeah, we walked down it. In shit. Monopoly. And the guy... <laughs> You're a fucking... <laughs> Sorry. What's the main one you can buy that everyone wants to buy? Park Street. What about Park Street? I think that was the next town over. But... <laughs> this is weird, though, because there was, like, this gigantic sculpture of a metal top hat. <laughs> Have, you slept? Have you slept? Have you slept? Have you slept? Sorry, I was still doing Monopoly jokes. Going back Send to... Send me straight to jail. Anyway. <laughs> Don't ask her. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. Anyway, so Fuck walking me. down, and I'm just being, like, very, you know, just... just Flicking the key around, mm. da da da, you know, just go. Mm. Anyway, must have uh, lost my uh, <laughs> grip, <laughs> and I swear to God, this street is just all cobblestone. Mm. It's just like there's not a grate in sight, nothing like that. And I <laughs> went up and down the street the next day, just like observing. There's only one grate, and the one grate. <laughs> That was there. The timing just went <laughs> down this thing. I'm like, oh, no, fuck. We just arrived. Mm-hmm. We were so, like, disheveled mm. and, like, just tired and we just wanted to eat and go home. And I was like, <laughs> we, 
we lost our air pink key. But you, but did you know straight away that you dropped in the grey? Hundred percent because oh, it's like it slipped out of your hair. There's nowhere else it could have. And not just that, it wasn't just a grate that you know in, you can kind of pick up a grate. Mm. It was like a grate, and then a hole, like a small hole, and it just went. Did you see it in there? No, it was like it was gone. So I had to like embarrassingly call up the Airbnb lady, which we had literally just left ten minutes ago, saying. <laughs> Hey, drop, hey, Maria. The key down a well. So we, we've dropped a key. We've lost our key already. <laughs> like, how much is this going to cost me? She's like, nah, nah, nothing. Just write a good review. I'm like, fuck. So did she have a spare key? She did. Oh, that's cool. Did she live there too? No. no. Well, that was lucky then. That's Very lucky. Like, and she like great left. Great news story. Like, left her home at 11 p.m. just to help us out. Shout God out bless to Maria. Her. Santa Marie. <laughs> Ave Maria. Um, but back to back to Master Locks. Yeah, it's it's maybe a, I'm one of the Mariah clones. Explains the the humongous tits. <laughs> <laughs> and the. It's going to be the worst. <laughs> Why is the best podcast so far? Anyway. But um Yeah, master keys, they don't make sense. The other thing that doesn't make sense, we all just accept. Fucking my gov. I I am I've got my swift vengeance against my gov. Please continue. Why do we need to put everything through my gov? Mm-hmm. Right? And why is it so hard to reset your fucking password? Have you ever had to do it? Yep. No, because you're probably someone who remembers all their passwords. No, it's just like the the questions are pretty you know, the little hints and shit. No, it always stuffs up and it will be like, we'll send this to your email, never send it to my email. Well, please get a code, then you get a code and the code doesn't work mm. and then it locks you out and you can't get anything. And like, why do I have to have all my things connected to it? Like, I'm the type of person that doesn't remember any passwords, so I purely rely on the ability to be able to reset a password every time I sign into something. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm working efficiently. You are? Yeah. But... um. So, yeah, I just don't understand my gov. I don't understand why we needed to invent it into the world. You know? Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk to... Um, ScoMo? No, Albanese. He's not our Prime Minister anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? I think Albanese sounds some, like something you want to eat. He's Italian, so... Mm. And back in his day, it was a snack, so maybe... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, no mask. Is, is it something though? Is like Albanese like also like a type of like? Is that like a type of food? I think you may be mixing it up with lemon squeezy, maybe. <laughs> Calzone? No. Anyway, we'll ask Albo. We'll ask Albo. Then we get him on the show. Yeah, when we next see him. Yeah. <laughs> Me, you, Prince of Ghana, Albo. Just all the heads of state. Great night. All the heads of state. Yeah. That sounds like a party. Yep, giddy up. I'll, get, I'll bring my fog machine. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to more value betting. Have yeah. You... Look, it's hard because it's we do a... this two days before we release it and there's really not much stuff to gamble on unless mm. we want to do like some bootleg betting, which well, let's, is... How um, about I want you to just find something random, like badminton. Yeah, like, dude, I looked. There's really slim pickings, like... There's all the tests and stuff, but they're all on today, and then it won't. I'll, I'll be back. Oh, I'll be talking right. back in time, you know. Interesting. If I could turn back, back time, time. I actually do a pretty good share. Ready? You go. Mm. This will be the. How about if we bet? I could find a way. How about we bet who can do a better share impression? Okay, right. You go, and then I'll go. Cool. I reckon I'm paying a buck fifty. <laughs> 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 Hang on, what a share's like. Um, it's going to be deep. too loud. Hang on. I don't know why you need to go. Uh, all I say and do, you're going to be the lonely one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe in life after the no, 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 no. You're usually pretty good at impressions, <laughs> but I've got this in the bag. Ready? <laughs> Wait, <coughs> I don't want to cough. Hey. Do you believe in love after love? I can feel something inside myself. I 
I really don't think you're strong enough. No. I think that's my best impression. You won. You won. Yeah, I told More you. More value betting. Oh, no, <laughs> I ain't a buck fitty. <laughs> No matter how you sound like you sound like fucking Cher after she's been hit by a car. <laughs> Call the room, <Uber>. Johnny. <laughs> Call um, so dumb. <laughs> Fuck. All right, <clears throat> hang on. Okay, I reckon they'll do us for this week. I think we. Oh, I reckon we're done ready a hard to go yard. for a swim. A little swim. Yeah. We'll hang. We didn't even address the fact that I'm in active wear because I'm swole. I'm starting my 2023 resolution. You haven't even started early. and you already started. I yeah. know. But uh, I think, yeah, they'll do us. Take it's it easy. It's not just a resolution. It's a lifestyle choice. Lorna Jane. Yeah. So I'll leave it with that. Take it easy. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.